Have you heard it's in the stars this evening? The giant planets Jupiter and Saturn will meet in a great conjunction, the closest they could be seen in the sky together for nearly 800 years. Well, did you ever? Leo Enright. Extraordinary, isn't it? What is a, what is a conjunction? I haven't heard a conjunction since school. What's a great conjunction? Well, well, Shane, I mean, for despite all you've heard this morning, this is a mystical, magical day uh, in the sky above us. It's the morning of the winter solstice. Uh, and unlike any winter solstice, as you say, in 800 years, Jupiter and Saturn, the two biggest planets in the solar system, are going to be kissing cousins. They're going to be right beside, uh, beside each other in the sky this evening, just at sunset. They appear to be almost kissing. Uh, in fact, if you if you haven't great eyesight and you're just looking with your regular eyes, you probably have trouble even seeing that there's two planets in that bright spot in the sky in the southwest. OK, so for people who want to see this tonight, what's, what's the advice? OK, well, the advice, Shane, is this, go out early. Because um, th- this is, tr- th- it's tricky for a simple reason. Um, you know, the, we, the Earth is spinning, uh, and so constantly the sky is changing. And Jupiter and Saturn will only be in our sky in the early evening uh, tonight. That is from, you know, if you go out at four o'clock, uh, it's going to be difficult because the sun is still there. But if you had binoculars, uh, you'd probably be able to pick them out low in the southwestern sky. Then about five o'clock, when the sun just about disappears, it should be visible to anybody who isn't clouded out. Now, admittedly, there's a lot of cloud predicted for this evening, but there will definitely be clear spells. And so you really want to get into a position where you can see clearly down to the southwest and look for this beautiful appearance of these two huge planets so close together.